Time now for First Alert Weather with meteorologist Rob Nucatola. All right, we get started this morning with lots of warm again and lots of muggy again. Temperatures that don't want to fall too far below 80. They're going to climb quickly and like yesterday, a lot of us well before noontime are going to be up over 90. A lot of us are going to spend most of the afternoon up over 95 and some of us could get up there flirt with 100. The record for today is 99. It is absolutely within reach and we'll do it all over again tomorrow. I don't see a lot of change in this forecast. I don't see a lot of change in this setup. Plenty of hazy sunshine early. Tropical Storm Debbie is now far enough away where we're not even getting those wraparound clouds or showers. That's good. We still have a little bit of a breeze coming with it, and that breeze is going to limit the afternoon sea breeze again, probably for one more day. Hopefully we start to see a little bit more of that tomorrow. I know there are areas that still don't want any more rain, but without those showers, other spots that are desperate for something to help cool things down aren't going to get it. It's 78 degrees right now in Tallahassee. It's 77 for Thomasville and for Valdosta. Not as breezy as even yesterday, which wasn't as breezy as the days before and we're still seeing those dew point numbers low to mid 70s. They're going to inch up even higher this afternoon and that's where all that extra hot and humid comes from. It's 81 this morning in Perry and at Apalachicola. It's 78 at Mariana, Moultrie, Tifton, 77s. Quincy is one of the cooler spots at 75 this morning. Now I don't expect it to be breezy today, but I do think that little bit of a breeze from the west makes a big difference. If it turns a little bit more southwest and south tomorrow and this weekend, now we start talking about some chances to get some showers. We also start to crank up the humidity a little bit. There's always a, a second side to all of those changes. I don't see a lot of patchy fog out there. I don't expect that we're going to find a whole bunch of patchy fog. The big story is still going to be Debbie bringing all kinds of rain and flooding and tornado threats through the Carolinas and still parts of the Georgia coast but it's moving far enough away from our area, even if it's moving really slowly to give us a break from that. Now, maybe a couple of lucky spots will get a few sprinkles this afternoon to calm down or knock down some of those temperatures. Same tomorrow, but I think our chances to get wet are very small. We'll start to see those shower chances get a little bit better over the weekend as the sea breezes start to take back over, and that should calm down some of the heat, some of the humidity, and knock down some of those heat index values but that's likely not until Saturday. Today's Thursday, got a whole lot of hot to deal with first. Tropical Storm Debbie, still a tropical storm, 50 mile per hour sustained winds as of this most recent advisory, still only moving to the northwest at five miles per hour, so, so slow still with this, and it's gonna continue that way probably for another day, and then it'll start to speed up, and then it'll continue to weaken, and eventually it'll lose those tropical characteristics as it heads to the northeast. You can see all that rain still coming around it. South Carolina, North Carolina, socked in and soaked from all of this. Now, we were watching some energy in the Caribbean that is pretty much falling apart. That's excellent news. There are other pieces of energy lined up across the Atlantic. That is very common for this time of the year. None of them look like anything is happening with them right away. We'll see if over the next week or so, some of this energy does start to develop a little bit. That's what happens as we get into the middle of August. The peak of the hurricane season, by the way, is usually right around the second week of September. So for the next four weeks, you usually expect activity to increase. So we'll certainly have our eyes on all that for you. On the Gulf today, plenty of hazy sunshine. It will be breezy at times. Winds out of the west and southwest 8 to 18. So we're hoping the sea breeze is able to do something for us to cool down and get us a couple of showers. At least some clouds would be nice. 70s and 80s this morning with the hazy sun and boy is it ever muggy out there already. This afternoon, I think there's going to be a lot of spots. 97, 98, 99s today feeling like 112, 114 or more. That's why we have the excessive heat warnings because it's going to be really hot, really humid, dangerous hot out there. Muggy tonight, still mostly clear skies. Temperatures only going to fall into the middle and upper 70s. And I think we're going to do it all over again tomorrow. I'm hoping to find a few more clouds and shower chances, but it feels like we're going to have to wait till the weekend for that. And then we get back to a more typical August pattern, so a little less hot, but still hot and humid until the showers do their thing.